Rosie! Here's Rosie! How are y'all doing today? We're gonna play some Super Mario All-Stars! So, uh, yeah, we are on at the end of, um... My controller needed a second there, I guess. Um, we're gonna be playing some, uh, yeah, the, the end of, uh, Super Mario 3 here. Um, I've never gotten this far in the game, so... I know this is hard. I'm gonna just do my best. I don't know how long or short this will take. Uh, there's, like, some Advance war shit going on over here. I can see that, so... Let's just freaking do it. Um, hang on. I just want to turn the volume up a little bit on my end, because I can... I can't can't even hear the music. All right. Okay. Oh boy, we're, we're <laughs> Mario's just kind of kind of sliding. He's eager to he's eager to get that peach back. Oh, oh jeez, bombs. There's bombs coming out of cannons. Okay. That's that's what we're doing now. All right, we gotta we gotta keep our wits about us here. Um, these freaking I don't like these. What, what are these? Like gophers? These gophers? Like uh, freaking throwing their their wrenches at me? What's that about? <laughs> yeah, it did. Um probably help if I uh, looked at the screen instead of the chat, huh? It's kind of interesting that it's just like treated like as like an encounter where like, you know, you overlap it on the map and you just automatically go in. You know, I've seen footage of, whoop of this part of the game on the NES. Um, not enough to, like, help me in the slightest, but... Um, and I don't think there's, you know, like, like, like a background on the NES. It's just black, so... I don't think I ever realized that, like, oh yeah, this is, you know, obviously supposed to be outside. I guess I just thought there was some weird Bowser void where they had all these tanks. Mario, I jump! I, I... Click the jump key on my controller. Why you no jump? -o? So as you can see, ah, uh, this this is gonna this is gonna take a while. Um, hope you don't mind some repetition over here. how long this level is. Because, you know, I'm, I'm in this, like, you know, mode where it's like, I'm not doing too horrible, but, you know, one hit kills me, so I gotta, I gotta just do this. Although, you know, I guess I could use a power-up. I probably have one I can use. These, these freaking gophers are not messing around. All right, there we go. That's a little better. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay, just, uh, just popping out that little ground cannon there. Like a big cannon. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh, oh! Woo, all right, all right, okay. Oh, jeez, oh no. You know, I was, I was expecting, uh, I was expecting Blorbus or whatever his name is, but, um, yeah. Am I being slandered in the chat right now? 
Are you saying I'm cute? It's illegal? It's doxing? Alright, so this seems to just be what we're doing with our lives right now, is uh, storming these things. Alright. Man, it's endless gophers over here. Um, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay, okay, Mario can do that. He is a jump man, after all. It's just, it's, I was a little uncertain about that, so... You know, that was that was me failing Mario there. That was not Mario messing up. That was it Mario choking at the crucial moment? These freaking homing air wrenches are not conducive to my victory. There's like a like a pattern here. The way these things are built, it's like like a like a weird rhythm, like a trance you get into, except when you die, th then that doesn't happen. I wanted to get an upgrade that time, and um, I forgot that it automatically sends you into the level, so. Alright, if I die again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure to get upgrade first. Also, I don't know what's in that question block over there, but there's no way I'm gonna find out. Alright, if you could just... Just... Uh, okay, hold on. That hitbox is a little off, don't you think? We got a nice little freeze frame there so you could see how messed up that was. Alright, um... Okay, frog suit is not gonna help me here. Nor is invincibility, so... And I'm not going to be able to get enough speed to use the P-Wing very well, so... We're just going to go with the good old mushroom and hope that that gets me through. felt like it was a little harder to do as Big Mario. I don't know if there's like a, like a physics element there to that. Oh, come on, man. It was like one of those frame things. Okay, this is getting a little... My shoot -em up instincts are kicking in where I'm just trying to like, you know, dominate the screen as they say. And, uh, it wasn't working out for me. It wasn't working out for me that time. Um, shoot, I got, like, nothing that's gonna be useful here, because I have all these star men. And that's just not gonna be useful in an auto-scroller. Okay, if I die again, I'm gonna check that, um, pipe, and see if there's maybe somewhere I can go. Okay, how the heck would you get to that question box before it scrolls off-screen? Can't get overconfident. Can't do that! Shigeru Miyamoto announces Toho 19. <laughs> oh god! He'd strip out all the cutscenes though. He'd be like, oh, I don't need to talk before boss battles. Yep, that's pretty much what I expected. Freaking fake ass non linearity in this game. The, the, um, the invulnerability period for these gopher things is freaking messing me up, man. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a suspend point right here. Um, because even though I lost a bunch of lives in a mushroom, 
I also feel like, you know, I don't want to lose more lives at this point unnecessarily. Because, you know, if, if I get on the... If I, like, you know... If you end up, like, having a... Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not the time to be talking about my, my save state strats. Basically, I don't want to end up in another situation where I'm doing the whole world on one life and constantly rewinding because it's annoying. That's pretty much what I'm... I get that the cannonballs are going straight, but it's really disorienting. <laughs> because of the, the frickin' boat going up and down. Gopher, the gopher, gopher two, gopher time, another gopher. This this freaking gopher gauntlet over here is not the best. <laughs> See, you're desperate to get out of the gopher zone, so you get tricked into jumping into the big ass cannonball. Hate that part. Hate that part a lot. I somehow didn't die, but that doesn't mean I don't hate it. Okay, so I guess if you stick close to these guys, they'll do the arced throw, which is actually easier to deal with, perhaps, but... Alright. I knew there was going to be another cannon. I just knew it. Get rid of that guy real quick. Get rid of that guy, and again... Go over here, please don't mess me up. With some more BS. I have no idea if you can jump on the fast cannonballs, but I'm not gonna try it, so. All right, okay, there's Bl Blorbus. Oh, he's so fast. Woo! All right, okay, that wasn't too bad. You just go for it. That's good. Gopher Zone somehow sounds like some Midwestern American theme park that hasn't been updated since the 1980s. I can't wait for Defunct Land to do a video on the Gopher Zone. Okay, let us just, um... Let's just continue on our merry way with this one. I don't think I've ever seen a gopher in real life. Okay, this is the infamous part where you can, like, get wall mastered, right? Yeah, like that. Good god. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna get rid of that right away. Oh boy. Oh boy! Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. So this is different, then. Oh boy. It's the return of Lakitu's cop friends. They're back. Alright, so... This is some weird, like, you know, randomized... Okay, I jumped right on that guy, though. It's like some weird randomized torture. And, uh, 
I don't know. If I beat this and I get wallmastered again and die there, do I get sent all the way back again? So what am I supposed to do here? Am I boned? Okay, all right. So you're not completely screwing me over here. That's nice, at least. Nope. Oh, big boy! Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm not complaining about that. Um... Should I save state here? <laughs> well, we are in hell, so I guess we have to decide whether the biggest, bigger sin is hubris or cheating. We have to figure out if uh, the Mario universe is equivalent to Satan. I don't know if, they, if that's been established in the games, but we have to decide if that guy likes quality of life upgrades or not. Hammer Brothers was the meanest deliberately designed challenge thing in all of Mario. I I don't think there's anyone who, like, you know, likes Hammer Brothers. I mean, I guess in general, like, you know, a tough enemy showing up in any game isn't going to make you happy, but I feel like there's something to be said for, like, tough challenges that make you go, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, like, you're, if you're really getting really into the zone... You're just like, yeah, I want to, like, you know, do this. But with Hammer Brothers, like, it doesn't really make me feel good to deal with them. It, it, they're just kind of annoying. <laughs> um. You know what? I'm a scaredy cat. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this. All right. Okay. We're back in the air somehow. Uh, that guy is on my shit list now. We are scrolling real fast! I have like, no... No opportunity to get my bearings there, so... Oh, come on, really? Really? Is that what you want to do with your life? Don't be sending me into the hand zone with with the Kiduk's cop friends. I don't remember if these question boxes are any good. I'm starting to think that safe is a good idea. All right, so fuck those boxes. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like these bloopers. They're slippery. M Mario is getting a little too excited there. Why did I do that? Why did I manually go in? I just assumed. I just assumed I wasn't able to... Oh, whatever. Why is that even a thing? Why would you want to go in there of your own volition? Okay. Kick ass! I don't have to deal with that anymore.
I guess they are kind of worth doing to get more raccoon tails. Alright, I'm just gonna have to freaking. There might be some trial and error here. I don't know yet. Because, like, there, right, you, you have to, like, plan those jumps way in advance. You gotta know where the gophers are. Because otherwise, it's, like, so easy to, like, mess yourself up with that. Not sure how is this supposed to get past that there. Please, stop. Stop scrolling me! No! No, I don't like that. Oh, shit. I went in with that. Okay. This is now a challenge run. Um... Excuse me about that one. What the fuck was that? All right, okay. I got some things to say about that level, but like, you know. <laughs> Couldn't do it while playing. So that level, like, you know, you you can't get your bearings, like I said, but you, you gotta deal with those gophers in time because once again, it's it's like a shoot 'em up. You, you have to be in control of what's going on on the screen. So you gotta be ready to kill those gophers, but you don't want to go too fast because you might mess up your timing. You also don't want to, like, be holding a run button constantly for every jump, ideally, because Mario's momentum can mess you up. So the raccoon tail comes in handy there, but it also gives you more air time, which might in turn mess you up when you're trying to dodge the wrenches. It was a bit of a Castlevania moment is what I'm trying to say. Quantum physics may seem dumb until you clip underground and die from being superimposed on a mole. Then you'll wish you paid attention in class. I'm not sure how, like, paying attention in class would help you get out of clipping underground. Also, this is a hell of a backrooms joke. One! That was all the prologue? I like this background, it's all RPG and shit. Why did I do that? Get away from me. Get- No! Stop it! Just, uh... Why is there a plant zone in hell? That's what I want to know. Good god. Alright. What was that?! What the hell was that just now? Did you see that?! These blocks are freaking out. Fuck me. Whoa! Okay. You know what? Whatever's in that lock is not worth it! I don't think Bowser's playing games. I think he wants me dead. Is uh woof. Yeah, freaking respect to any NES gamers who have to do this whole world. Um 
Although, let's be honest, they probably warp zoned and one up formed their way through this. Cool timing. Oh man, they, they shoot fast. They're not in the- oh. Yeah, again, Mar Mario's momentum is, is a bitch. Fuck you. Whoa, all right, okay. Ah, oh, this is some... Nope. We might be here for a little while. Um, so once, once again, um, I don't... I, I hope you're not the sort of viewer who, who like likes when their streams progress real fast through a game. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> and speaking of which, um, I've been uploading my old King's Quest streams. Uh, for King's Quest 4, I did a, I, I did like a, like a super cut of sorts that is out on my YouTube. Um, I think for King's Quest 5, I'm just going to upload the full streams, because even, even though I still get stuck a lot, it's... The atmosphere is a little nicer, I, I feel. It's a little, like, nice background sound, even though I'm wandering around a bit. It's definitely something I, like, I, I thought about, like, you know, cutting out all the parts where I'm just kind of, like, Trying everything on everything, but I guess that's also part of the like, you know adventure game experience I feel like there's gotta There's gotta be a way to get up to those little platforms over there, but Right? I don't know which one had the one up in it because it was a complete freaking accident that I got that last time. On really? Oh, screw that! Screw like having to like line that up perfectly. Get out of here with that! You'll have to wait there for like years.
Wow, so that block can actually push you back. It'll probably kill you if you're not holding the button. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Oh boy. Oh, come on. No, no. What the fuck is that? What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Got him. Look, okay, okay, hang on. That's, that's a little, that's a little cruel, don't you think? This freaking hard-ass level and then just put a jump like that in there? I don't feel bad about rewinding that at all. Like, that's really one of those things where I kind of, like, you know, wonder, like, okay... Is that in there because they genuinely just thought, like, that was a good level of challenge... ...there, or... ...was there, like, a matter of, of, like, you know... ...just trying to make the game, like, stupid hard on purpose? That's cool. like that. I was just reading about the lost levels earlier and how like, you know, they are just like, ah, oh, you know, for people who've mastered Mario 1, we're, we gotta make this one, like, really hard. And then, you know, things got a little fucky. Just a little fucky. And that's, you know, for that reason, not a game that's really remembered fondly. And then, you know, obviously they learned from that, like, this game's not like that insane, but, um, dang it. But still, you know, Nintendo Heart was a thing. And I think it's been acknowledged in, like, interviews and stuff that it's like, you know, the developers are constantly playing their own game, so they get, like, really good at it. And then think like, oh, you know, th this could stand to be a bit more challenging. This needs to be harder. The sun is out at night. The sun is out at night. Can go down to quicksand. It's a shortcut. Uh, is there like a specific spot to do that? Because there's a, there's a whole lot of quicksand here. Trippy. You know, the first time I ever, like, saw quicksand or anything was into Sindbad anime. Whoa! And it was like that, too, where he, he had to, like, sink into the sand on purpose to find, like, the hidden treasure or something. And it wasn't until later that I found out, like, that quicksand is just, like, this classic peril trope. Thanks for, thanks for, um, thanks for that pointer. Just gotta watch out for these deuterinos here. It really makes me wish I had a fire flower. Oh, come on, really? I swear, sometimes... There's, there's like some slight input lag. There has to be, because 
that is happening way too often where I swear I press jump and it just doesn't come out. All right. Um Generally just gonna assume there's no point in going down a pipe if there's a level to play, so... So those radioactive waffle things, are, are these like supposed to be anything? Do they have a name? Here we go... Oh, cool. I needed that! Oh, man. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna fuck up royally all over the place here. This is what we're doing now. Low battery! What the fuck? I checked it at the beginning of the stream and it was fine. Oh, boy. Anyway, this is what I was trying to do here. Um, I don't know if that was a good idea, but I guess we'll find out. What is this construction? No, Bowser's, Bowser's a jerk, I've decided. I mean, you know, like, ki kidnapping princesses, just like, you know, who doesn't do that? Like, on occasion, but like... Here he's just being, like, mean. He's really being mean to Mario here. Roto discs? Destructo discs. bone now okay what the fuck is this place um that's not how thwomp go whoa all right. Okay, so now my problem is I can't get through here to get the fire flower. Which would be, you know, really useful right- oh, fuck. You know how they named Mario after like their their like landlord for the original Nintendo offices? Getting to think maybe that guy was like a dick. And all they were trying to do here was like, you know, like how can we like live out our torture fantasies of that guy?
All right. Small mercies. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. This door better be awesome. Fuck. Yeah, Mario was named after their landlord. Look it up. Unless it's like like a, a really stubborn urban legend or something. I don't like this level. Come on, really? Really? That's what you want to do with your life, huh? What's even the point of this now? I mean, I guess I could skip that whole part, honestly, if we just jump through without losing my power-ups. Oh. Wait, I thought I turned those messages off. So, like, because I don't want to, like, you know, like, like, be invading my friend's privacy by, like, showing what they're playing for the whole world to see. Alright, so, going through that first door is just to, like, avoid that, because, you know, you don't want to lose your power up. And then, over here, you're just, like, kind of boned, I think, if you're small Mario, so, kind of like that dry bones over there. And then, they just kind of, like, send you into this, this, this fucky loop over here. Because, once again, um... That's, oh, okay, 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 hang on. I might be able to salvage this. If I can get up there... Nope. Rotodiscs are actually ghosts and they look like waffles on purpose because their Japanese name is Cookie. I guess a play on kooky is in vibes? I don't know. I don't like the vibes I'm getting from him, I'll tell you that much. Wait, this is still not gonna help me. <laughs> I need to be big! If I'm not big, then there's no point! Randy Newman was right the whole time! Can't believe I just said that. You know, I, I am just, like, very curious what's going on over on that left side, but I'll never know because there's no way I can make that freaking jump. Mario, please! Alright, so obviously the fire flower would make this part easier, right? But... It's not impossible to do... Like this. I still don't entirely understand the relationship of, like, all these freaking doors. Like, do I even really have to do the doors at all? Or is there, like, a... Fuck! I'm not even gonna try without the freaking raccoon. Because, like... 
without the raccoon tail, I'm just like already boned because the only way to like maybe get somewhere is with that one really insane jump if you're small Mario. Because otherwise, like the level's just like freaking locked off. Like you can't do anything. Fucking do that. Oh, what? That was real quick. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. That's not bueno! I'm really starting to get tempted to make like a mid-level save, but like... I feel like that's like another level of like breaking the integrity of the, of, of the game design, so... I'm gonna try not to do that. I mean... Then again, I have rewound a lot to the middle of a level, so whatever. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Alright, I think I've proven that I can do that part fine, so... Screw it. I have no idea what's going on in this level, man. Am I going the right way? Like, what, what is going on? I feel like I'm going backwards, and now I'm just boned again. Cool, cool level. Is this why all that Mario Maker shit is so hard? Like, okay, that... Right there, right? Okay, so that part... Fuck. That feels like, you know, you're going somewhere, right? Because it's like, oh, it's not a door, it's like this limited thing, this, 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 like, white space. But then if you go here, you're just boned. Subscribe to Nintendo Power today, kids. What the fucking fuck am I looking at with this level? Like... I have no frame of reference for what I should or shouldn't be doing. Alright, uh... The Thwomp Room always spawns a power-up for you to destroy the blocks. This is basically a Nintendo Power level. Oh, what? Loading a save state fucks up your rewind? I actually didn't know that. Also, like, the Thwomp Room isn't really very specific now, is it? There's Thwomps freaking everywhere in this level.
Shit like that is just like... That's like there to fuck with you, right? To be like, LOL, you went down this thing. So you're just fucked. I have, like, just no, like, where... I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh my god, what the fuck is with this level? How did I end up here? What am I doing with this P-switch? What is this door? What is my objective? What is this situation? If I just had a general idea of like where I was going, like what I was trying to accomplish here. But all of these doors just seem to like, you know, freaking lead to the same freaking places where I can't do anything of any worth. And eventually I just end up in a spot of this like, wait, I thought that door went somewhere else, but it has a dozen. And then there's fucking dry bones fucking up your momentum with these fucking tight ass jumps like this fucking Dracula X! I hate this level! Whoever designed this is a poopy head! Like, okay, okay, if we're like right here, right? Where do I go from here? Because none of this seems to actually lead me anywhere new. The doors keep leading me to the same places. And every time I try, I just take more hits. Fuck off, please. Please just, like, fuck off. It's just, everything loops in on itself. And like, even if you get up there, there's no way to avoid the thwomp, so like... This can't be where you have to go, but apparently, like, fucking... I don't... I don't even know. I don't even know! I just don't know. This level fucking sucks. Fuck off! Just leave me the hell alone!
Yeah, cool. I'm not accomplishing anything here! Please, please give me advice! Like, just like, like an indication of what direction I'm supposed to be going. Look, this is beyond belief! If I had some way to just fucking skip this level, I'd take it, but... That's just like not possible. You can't you can't get through that. Like what the fuck? Okay, I'm going to just going to look it up myself then. Alright, so they got that power block, they went through the white door. Uh, there's another white door there, which went away, so there... Okay, there's another P-switch. Oh, and there's another one over there, okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to see how I get back there now, because, you know, this is all just confusing for no reason. Alright, that doesn't do anything. There's a boot. I don't like the boot. Uh, so this is one up. I'm trying to get to that other side of that. How in the fucking fuck would you ever figure that out? Like, that's just one of those things where it's like... Alright, I, I understand the challenge you're posing here by making it like a fucking confusing maze, but... I ask you... Is there anyone... Who thinks that's fun? Like, I legitimately want to know, is it is it just me? Is it just me who doesn't like that sort of gameplay? Because I'm bad with spatial stuff. Is it me? Because, you know, out of all the, like, famous, like, retro gaming moments, like, I, you know... 
How the fuck did I end up here again? What? Okay, you know, there, there's so many like, you know, infamous like moments in, in retro games and in, like NES games. It's like, oh yeah, you know, that's that, that famous hard part. And I never hear anyone just go like, oh yeah, you know, World 8 and, and Mario is like some insane shit. It's just like, yeah, you know, Mario. There's nothing wrong with Mario. There couldn't possibly be. It's freaking Mario. You know, then again, like, you know, the reason warp zones exist in NES Mario is because, like, it would be insane to, to, like, expect someone to beat all the levels in one sitting, right? So they, they put that in because eventually you're going to figure out those tricks, uh, whether it's through playing the game or having your cool Nintendo Power subscription. And then it's like, all right, now I can just skip past like big chunks of the game so that every time I start, I don't have to play every single level. And people probably use... All right, that's what we're doing with our lives. People just, you know, um, fuck. Okay, I gotta, I gotta pause the game so I can talk normally. Um, what the fuck was I saying? Yeah, so people use warp zones and then probably make it to the end of the game real fast, and then they can just, you know, really, like, ground, grind out, like, like learning these levels to perfection. But, like, there goes my controller. Um, let me just plug that in real quick. But it, um, a level like that is also just, like, Like, you'd think that would be one of those things that just pisses people off, but I don't know. Maybe everyone just got the Nintendo Power Strategy Guide in their mailbox back in the day, so they never they never had to just, like, blindly, like, flail around in that level for hours. Or maybe I'm a dumbass, it's possible. And I'm not saying that it's in a like a self-deprecating way. It's just that that is the sort of thing I would miss, that solution. So it's possible that that's the problem. I just I'm just finding a USB port to plug this into. I do not wish to play with the Joy-Cons, thank you. All right, okay. I don't know, maybe if the angry video game nerd had made like a real review of this game back in the day, it wouldn't have been a problem. Whoa, what was that? Is that gonna come back or just appeared? Please don't be another stupid maze level. Please just be like kind of straightforward. It's freaking Zella 2 ass elevator. Look at that. Oh, God damn it. And honestly, uh, you know, you know what? I've played. There's, there's no way you're gonna know 
that that's gonna be there, right? Like, that's just there to, to, to fuck you. It's there to fuck you. What I was trying to say is, you know... Oh, I didn't really mean to do that, but hey. You know, I, I've played Zelda 2. And, you know, there, there's a lot of cryptic shit in there where it's just like, okay, how are you going to figure that one out without Nintendo power? But... I don't feel like... That, as far as I got in that game, there wasn't anything that made me go like, okay... I'm just saying, like, you know, that, that game feels like it's nicer to play than this, this part of Mario 3 is. Oh, we're just having- we're just having a barrel of fun, aren't we? Aren't we, game designers? We're just having a good old time with our lives. Okay, so now you don't run. Now you don't run straight in there, although I don't know, like... Can I- can I trigger that without... Alright. You know, I like that. Oh, I, I felt that was gonna be like, you know, Mario 1 style. Okay, I guess it, it is foreshadowing for Bowser. He just wasn't actually, you know, there, so it's like... I, I feel like that would have been cooler if... If he was actually there, like in Mario 1. Oh, come on, what? In Homes? In Homes, Homes. I don't know, maybe I should, like, you know, not be... Not be rewinding this so much. I wonder if anyone's done like a stupid challenge like beat Bowser with the frog suit or something. I got to... This really this level really is just like a bunch of japes. I mean, I guess it makes sense in universe. Like if you were Bowser, you would like, you know, put put stupid shit like this in your castle to stop Mario from getting to you. But I don't like it. No, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> I am just gonna make a frickin' safe state at Bowser.
Because, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I've reached that point where it's just like, ah, I just kind of want to be done with this, so... This is get, getting at whoa. Bowser's ass's hitbox is kind of generous, actually. What I'm trying to say is, you know... If I'm at the point of just like, I, I wish I, I was no longer playing this game, then, you know... It gets the rosy seal of, hmm, don't do this. Don't do this with your game design. I do like this fight, though. I just, I don't want to do the level that comes with the fight, so, you know. No, oh, what? <laughs> Alright, so I, gu I guess I'm misjudging, like, the lock-on period, we'll call it. Uh... Like, yeah, you know, I, I really would not like if I had no choice but to play that freaking level every time I wanted even, like, a try at this fight. Because this is a challenging fight. Oh. Um, Bowser, could you, like, could you, like, give me a freaking second? Just a little courtesy, alright. Just a little royal King Koopa courtesy. Yeah, I say his pattern, his pattern's a little irregular, honestly. I haven't quite figured out the best way to deal with it. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes he really just wants to, like, frickin' give you that, give you that ass stomp. Yeah, I kind of feel like this fight should have been its own stage. I I'm always worried about just sounding like this, like, you know, salty gamer who isn't willing to, like, you know, really, like, give these hard games their due, but... I, I've, like, played and beaten some, some hard stuff. Like, the frickin' Castlevania! I beat a Toho, even if, though it was on easy. It's still frickin' hard. Come on, Bowser. Stop teasing me like this. Ha ha! Gotcha, bitch. I 
Come in! Give princess! Wait, what do you mean bye-bye? Peach is just like, well, see ya. Peach is just like, yeah, thanks for saving me, I guess. Anyway, I got shit to do, so... You know, I do wonder, how does Peach know about the another castle thing? Like, isn't that after Mario 1? Like, you know, like, Peach just invited Mario over for cake or whatever, and Mario was just like, You wouldn't believe the shit I had to deal with! Like, every freaking castle I went to was japes. But, like, really, though. I love Mario World. You can always be like, hey, do you want to play Mario World? And I'll be like, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. If you're like, do you want to play Mario 3? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if that's something I want to do. All right, well, uh, shit. <laughs> Despite all my bitching and moaning, um, we finished the game early as far as, like, you know, stream time goes, so I didn't really have another thing, like, ready to go here. Um... What do I do? <laughs> Alright, what, what, I, I don't want to just start Super Mario World. I, I will play Super Mario World eventually, but like... I need a freaking break from Mario right now, you know? Kirby? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna play these Kirby games at some point, too. Uh, I quite love Superstar. A lot of good memories of that one. I've never played D Dreamland 3, but it looks really cool. Wait, why are these, like, special versions? Nintendo keeps doing this thing where, like, oh, I wanted to see the description. Um... Where you get these special, uh, like, kind of just, like, pre-made save states. I guess these just, like, unlock stuff. So maybe that's why I put those up here. Did you guys even know you could, like, customize the order of stuff here? That's what I did. Why does, it, why does this not have box art? That's weird. Hold on, is this goalie? Is that, is that, is that Trump? It looks like Trump, doesn't it? Why, why was he a goalie? Why was he a goalie on a Super Nintendo? What the fuck? Yeah, I, I could fuck around with, like, the Nintendo Online stuff for a while, but that seems like a stream of its own. Um, and in general, sometimes I, I, I might do, like, a like a grab bag kind of thing at some point. That might be fun. Um, yeah, no, like, one, one part of my, like, um, one, one thing that my ADHD causes is, like, 
if I finish a task, I have a really hard time like pivoting to something else. Like I was I was uh, drawing earlier today because um, I am an artist on occasion. And, uh, I, I finished that drawing and then like, it was like, uh, I know like noonish, And then it was just like, you know, a logical thing would be to like, you know, start on another drawing cause that's my job. And I just like, couldn't freaking do it. Like it just, my head wouldn't allow it. So I had to like pivot to something else. It's like, and that took a while, but, you know, that that's fine in a situation like that. But like. Right now, here, you're like, I'm really, like, put on this spot, because, like, I got plenty of games I want to play on stream, but, like, just suddenly, like, you know, an hour and a half in, I'm going to just be like, all right, I'm doing this now. That's like, uh, woo. Also, I got to go to the bathroom, so I'll, I will be right back, and maybe you'll have an idea then, so...